Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bulldog Show. I'm Darrell Allen, along with Thomasville High School head football coach Jonathan DeLay and do coach the dogs a 36-29 heart-stopping win over, over Harlem last Friday. I mean, you bet you couldn't leave this one. You had to stay to no. the final whistle. You got your money's worth. Uh, what, a, what a great job. I, mean, I can't say enough about the kids, you know, just the belief. Uh, you, you think about the game, you know, it's back and forth. We got a chance early. You know, we, we got up big early. We got a chance to punch it in. We didn't. To take a three touchdown lead, they come right back and get right back in the ball game. We block block field goal before half. Uh, you know, Ant with some big plays, big runs, and then in that last drive there, you know, they get the ball inside the one and have two cracks from inside the one. Kiff punches the second one out. Joe falls on it. Um, you're right there inside the one. Just thoughts of 2020 Fitzgerald run through your mind there. Uh, but then we punch it off the goal line, Ant with a huge run, and then it allowed us to milk the clock and. Uh, Leland punched it in there on the fourth and one from the R, R one yard line. Um, and then we got the stop there at the end of the game. I mean, just you talk about a roller coaster of emotions, uh, you know, just the, the excitement and the elation to know that, you know, we can go and win a game like that. That was huge. And, and you think about the last time we were out on the field and things yeah. that happened there, you know, I, I, can't, I can't think of a better way to go and win a ball game. And, and look, now we're one of 16, uh, and we, we, get a, we get another opportunity at it. All right, Coach, uh, a lot of offense. Obviously, both teams over 500 yards, but the defense came through when we needed them to. Yeah, you know, the thing that, the thing that you, you see in that game, you know, everybody's like, oh, ton of, ton of points scored, ton of offense. But Harlem had the ball in, in the red zone three times and came away with zero points. Uh, and that's huge, you know, red zone offense, red zone defense. Those are things that we harp on each and every week. And the defense came came away with three big stops down there because even if they get field goals in those three situations, that's nine points. That's that's enough to win. So that was huge. You know, offensively we played we played well. We did a good job of moving the ball and scoring. Uh, and defensively, when we had to have plays, we made plays. All right, coach. You, you talked about the fumble recovery at the one. Great job by Kiff and by Joe. 99-yard run keyed by Ant, 70-yard 70 yard, 70 yard run. We drive it down, fourth and one. Leland takes it in, field goal. Did you think about a field goal in that situation? Yeah, so when it was, so it was third and goal from the five, and they had taken their final timeout. Um, so I knew I wanted to run the football right there to where, you know, one, the clock would continue running. But if we, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking run it, and then we're going to, you know, send Colby out there and kick the field goal. But when he got inside the one, it was, when Ant got inside the one there on third down, it was, you know, there was really no question, you know, Coach Owens, Coach Rents, hey, go for it, go for it. And we're inside the one, you know, if you're going to kick a field goal there, you're going to have to take the delay of game and back wow. it up and, and all that. So, you know, we felt good about the play we had. And, and right there, when you get in that situation, it, that's football. You know what I mean? That's, that's you got to go win your matchup across from you, and it's just mano y mano. Sometimes right there you may get a guy that penetrates, but – Who's going to win that rep? Are you going to go down on the first hit, or are you going to push and go score? And that's what we did. You know, Leland did a great job so right Leland there, and and finishing the run. In there, yeah. yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, it, but you look at that whole drive. You know, all three of the backs on that drive had some type of play to contribute. Ant got us off the goal line. Vonte takes one and gets us a first down on the next play, and then Ant got another first down uh, going to the left, which allowed the clock to keep running. And then Ant gets us inside the one, then Leland punches it in. So, and, and then, you know, we did a lot there on that drive, too, where we just snapped it to the back. Mm -hmm. So you see the other back. I mean, and they're so, they're so unselfish. They get in the huddle and, and, you know, I'll have them come to me, Leland, Ant, Vontae, all of them, and go, hey, look, get him the ball. I'm going to block on this one or vice versa. And that's what you want when you're talking about a team is guys that are unselfish and willing to go uh, sacrifice for each other. All right, Coach, Ant Ant Anderson, nine for carries, 187 yards. Uh, including the 76-yard touchdown run and a 15-yard touchdown run. One thing about Ant, he knows how to get north and south. Yeah, he does. <laughs> uh, you know, he gets in there sometimes in that pile, and he gets lost. And uh, he got them pads going north and south, and, and he had some big runs. You know, they were, they were cutting us up front in the second half trying to just create a pile, and he jumped right over it. And you'll see on the clip, but uh, E.J. Bean and Mac Mobley were able to get up to the second level and give him the blocks of springing to go. Uh, you know, nine for 187, that's not bad. That's what it is. Cam Hill, 12 for 15, 240 yards, a touchdown to Cole Shaw for 76 yards. Cam at one point hit his first 10 passes. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even realize it until I saw the stats. You know, he was he was doing a great job, and that's probably one of, the, one of the best games he's played in a while. And it was just he was taking what the defense gave him 
Uh, and there were some small windows where he was throwing the ball, especially to Cole. You know, the first one he threw to Cole for a touchdown was a tight window, and then the second one that he threw to Cole in the long one, he had to throw it out in front and let Cole run underneath it over a defender uh, moving to his left. I mean, that was that was a big-time throw, and, uh, you know, it really really springboard us in the game. All right, Coach, when, obviously when Cole went down, had to look towards yeah. everybody. Yeah. Uh, and, and Masai with four catches, Nigel Pittman with three catches. I know Brand had a catch. Uh, so, so, uh, so a lot of the receivers came through for him. Yeah, I mean, they really, you know, yeah. When Cole went down, that's uh, it's he's obviously a big part of our offense. But you know, somebody else has got to step up. Um, and I thought everybody did a great job. You know, Nigel, we moved him around to catch the ball. Messiah, we got him involved. A lot of screens and a lot of stuff. Uh, RPOs to him. You know, I thought you know Levante and Leland, even in those situations, you know, they came and, and ran the ball well where, you know, sometimes, hey, we may be throwing a quick one to Cole. Well, now we're running it. So, you know, I felt like, you know, everybody picked up everybody else, and we, we played a complete uh, team game on that side of the ball. All right, Coach. Nigel Pittman, uh, moving him over to defense a little bit this week, had 12 tackles. Joe and Kip Parrish had 11, and they had that big play down on the goal line. Yeah. Uh, uh, A.J. Hill, Jr. with 10 tackles. Keyshawn Jordan with two sacks. Don McCall with two fumble recoveries. Joe Douglas with the fumble recovery. So, on defense, boy, again, we talked about last week, we need a team effort. We need 11 yeah. people on the football, and we had a lot of that. And that's the thing, you know, yeah, they, they had 500 yards of offense. They had some big plays. But the, but the thing about it is this. It, when you get to this point of the season, one, it's about, it's about winning the football game. All right, but how do you do that? Well, you got to win your details. And sometimes it's about, hey, we got to get the guy on the ground so we can play the next play. First and goal from the four on their last drive, I believe it was Devin Lewis that made the tackle on the quarterback. Inside the one, I mean, he was as, as close to the goal as you can get without touching it, and Devin made that play. And that's not going to show up on the stat sheet, but he made that play to allow us the opportunity to go and punch it out two plays later inside the one. So those are the things that, that you've got to take from this game that, guys, you know, you may not make every play. You've got to act like you're going to make every play, but the, the, the ones that you have to make, you have to go make them. Uh, and that's what we did. Then. Uh, you know, Nigel coming over there on the defensive side of the ball making plays. Uh, you know, Joe, obviously, Joe and Kiff with those 11 tackles and then the big play down there. And then, you know, Junior, the block, the block kick. I mean, you know, he was off sides on the first one. And he's just trying, you know, didn't, didn't really harm us right there in the situation, but he's just he's, – He's doing such a good job of working on his get-offs, and he works on it every day in practice because he does it at practice, and, uh, and it paid off there in the game. That was huge. That was pivotal in the game because now it's 29-29 to 29 going into those last drives and not 32-29, to 29. And, and, that's, and that's, that makes a difference. It makes a difference in how you manage the game, call the game, and things like that. A good play on special teams. Andrew, Andrew Bennett with a 50.8 yard average and two inside of 20. Boy, yeah. he boomed it Friday Yeah, he night. was uh, – he was he was hammering it, and and one of the things too, you know, Kiff Parrish came in and snapped when Cole went out. So that you, when you talk about operation, you know, having a guy being able to step in, and we were able to get him off. We didn't have any block. That was huge. Uh, you know, Cole Cole gutted it out on PATs, and after he got hurt, and he was in there snapping on that, which is no easy task because what we do on PATs, you got the guards are grabbing your legs, so there's going to be pressure on that ankle. Uh, but you know, he did. I thought he did a great job as well with that. All right, Coach. Well, let's let's jump into some of the highlights from from Friday night again. A beautiful stadium. I mean, they oh, yeah. put turf field down. A really really great place to play. Yeah, I felt like we were at home. You know, it's the, it was the exact same turf that we have at the house. Uh, red end zones, the diamond in the middle, just missing the gold and the tee. Uh, you know, first opening kickoff right there got a pretty decent return on Messiah, uh, and then you know we go to work on offense. A little outside zone there, toss with the crack, just giving a little different wrinkle, trying to get hit the perimeter. We felt good about getting the ball outside. There was Messiah on the second play of the game. Got some good blocks outside. And then again, you know, hitting three, four, five-yard runs. And that's one thing, you know, that we didn't talk about when we talked about the stats were, you know, the offensive linemen, you know, we rushed the ball. And, you know, you got 500 yards of offense. You know, you got to be doing something special up front. That's, they did a great job a great job of moving people out of the way and keeping folks off cam so that we could uh, get those shots that we had. Defensively, first drive right here. You know, we're really getting after quarterback, getting him off his spot. Uh, third down right here. Got an incomplete pass, and we force him to punt. Nigel, you know, we put his heels on the 10. I know he backs up and catches this one just inside the 10, but I like it because they've got a guy to down it right there inside the one. And, you know, 
Darrell, we had three drives that were over 90 yards, and one right. of them went not the last one went 99. So when you talk about that, you know, it takes a it it takes a, a a mature team to be able to to go and do that. And you can just see we've got some running lanes, running creases, you know, six, seven, eight yards a pop, and then Cam threads the needle right there, and uh, Cole's really fast, um, and you know, that's uh, we've seen that a lot this mm -hmm. year, but. When you get in playoff time, you know your your players got to make plays, and and we did right there. So we go up seven to nothing. Uh, kick off to them right here. And could have easily coach at this point in time been up fourteen to nothing, except the turnover. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, I just felt I felt like uh, any anything that we did offensively, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot a couple times. Had the turnover, and then uh, just had some some miscues in the second half on a couple of plays. It wasn't anything major. I didn't feel like it was anything that they were doing to us. Uh, the kids felt real good about the plan, real confident, and I thought they executed it really well. You know, they took they took practice to the game, and that's what you got to do. You know, defensively here again on the second drive, there's Joe in there in that, on that tackle. You know, it's seven to nothing right now. They're driving it down. They got a little double move. We get back there in phase with him. They get us for pi. And, and look, I know we had a few pass interference, but we wanted to be aggressive at the corner position. We knew that if we tried to just sit soft, uh, they would try to pick us apart. And there were times where they were hitting us with some hitches and we were trying to come up and be more aggressive. And eventually it paid dividends. Right there, That what a heck of a play by Don to catch that ball out of the air and keep his feet in bounds long enough to get that fumble. And we couldn't, we couldn't tell on that. We couldn't yeah, tell what happened. It was right tough. Now. There's Cam right there hitting Cole. I mean, that's an unreal throw. Uh, booting out to your left and then putting it on him. And Cole made a kind of a circus catch. It, he had to contort his body just a little bit. And then, unfortunately, you know, right here he rolls his ankle. Um, but, again, like I said, he's able to gut it out on some PATs. We give the ball to Ant. we got a couple things inside right here. And this is this one of my favorite plays right here because you just get that whole right side mashed down. Ant didn't get touched till he got to the goal line. Uh, and that's a huge, huge play for us. Kiff had to snap right there. Uh, did a great job. We'll get it kicked. And smell that end zone, didn't you? Yeah, he did. He <laughs> did. You know, right here on the kickoff unit, uh, we end up getting him on the ground. Missed one tackle. Uh, but later in the game, you're going to see the last kickoff. I mean, you know, Caden Walker, he had to make a play, and that was the play he had to make, and he made the tackle to get the guy around the 30 and ultimately, ultimately allowed us to go and uh, be successful on that last and drive. And their quarterback did a great job, great ball handling I'm going to tell you what, they're four and three really good football players, really good kids. Um, you know, just a lot of credit to them. You know, they, they came out of their way to come and speak to some of our kids, some of our coaches after the game. Um, and, you know, they're really good football players, and they, they know how to do right. And so that's – you could see that in the game because he – I'm telling you, he's got one of the most unorthodox throwing motions I've ever seen, but it gets in the right spot somehow. Mm -hmm. So right here, you know, they onside kicked it. We knew if 22 was up there, it was going to be an onside kick. Coach Owen saw it from a box. Our kids saw it, so they were ready for that. That's just that's preparation out of the kids right there, taking what we do in film and applying it to the field. Get into the second quarter, you know, come with a slow screen right here. Vontae gets a big gain right there. First play of the second quarter, you know, we get the ball back down in the scoring zone. Cam right here, that's a great job throwing that bubble to Messiah, catching it on the run, trip with a good crack right there. And then, again, we just keep, you know, four, five, six, seven-yard runs. All right, we keep hitting those right here. We get a first down on third and one. <clears throat> and then we go back outside. So it's kind of an inside-outside game. You know, we're trying to work edges, and when they – you know, overcompensated for the edges, we tried to go back inside, and that's what you're seeing. That's what you saw the other night. And then right here, Levante did a good job going up and getting that thing. We got big Jalen Walden. I believe uh, that's Leland out there in front of Vontae leading him in for the touchdown. So we go up 21 to 14 right there. And then on the ensuing kickoff, we tried to kick one, just pop it right over, hitting that little dead hole. And, you know, they fumble it, we get on it. And this right here, this is where, you know, you want to go break their back. Um, but we don't, you know, we have a, a decent drive right here and we get it down in the scoring area. Cam right here with a good pull and he gets, uh, gets a good block right there by trip. We're able to get a first down. Then we have another couple of decent runs. We got Leland right here on the run. All right. Then right there, we get it to, uh, third and five. 
and I, you know, we tried to run a little play we put in earlier this week, and we got the false start. But then we get it out to Levante here. He makes it fourth and fourth and one. And then right here, we just had a little miscommunication up front, um, and and they got penetration, and, and that's one where you want to go and make that play and go and score those points, go up 28 uh, to seven, but we didn't. And then right here, they come back down, scored two point runs. A little nifty play right there. Uh, something they haven't shown. That was a good job by them. And now it's a ball game. You know, it's 21-15. You know, we get it back right here. It was a good job by Levante going and getting that one up and getting north as fast as he could. Get the ball out to Nigel. Get good blocks on the perimeter there by Hunter Blanton and uh, Brant Herndon. We get a big play and a face mask. Then Andrew lets off this long punt right here, and we don't get it down inside inside the uh, – 10, you know, we thought we could get it there inside the five, didn't. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. So, what, what, why did, why weren't we able to down it right there? What did we need to do? Well, we needed to come down here and stop them and block a field goal. That's what we needed to do. Um, and, <laughs> here you know, comes. right here it comes, Junior, bang, you know, he blocks it. Don, you know, we almost scoop it and score right there. I believe if he gets it on the first one right there, he's probably gone. Uh, but he didn't. And then the third quarter starts, so you know you're up 21-15 at the half. And, you know, the third quarter, I mean, they, they came right down and did a great job. Uh, they went and scored a touchdown on their first drive, made it 22-21. to It was their first lead of the night. Yeah, yeah. And this is where you find out what your team's made of. I mean, because this is a good football team that we're playing, and they did a good job. Uh, so we get the ball right here. They kick it over to Joe Douglas. You know, I don't know that he's caught one this year on a kick return. It was a good job catching it, having good ball security getting north. Cam right here, you know, he's getting pressure in his face, finds Brent. But unfortunately, we have to punt. And Andrew, again, gets off another good one. All right, we're able to get it down there inside the 20. And uh, we get it picked up. But here they come again. You know, this play right here, I one, I have no clue. Like, hats off to him. I don't know how he got it there, how he knew that he was – other than they're twins and they got a little something going on <laughs> that uh, we can't describe. Those are the type of plays that are made in a game like this. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. And then right here, you know, we're just getting after the quarterback. They called this a fumble that went out of bounds. That's why they moved the sticks. So it took me a while to get a uh, to get a, an answer. It was a great play on the perimeter right there. Third down play right here. They throw the hitch. Don gets him out of bounds to set up fourth down. And then right here, we get the incomplete pass on fourth down. You can see Coach Rayburn over there. He's real excited, giving the referees the what for. Uh, that was we got to calm him bounced, down, right? Yeah, it was ball yeah. bounce. We got to calm him down a little bit over there. <laughs> you know, he, yeah, you know, he so, just. Are we gonna he, be able to see him run in a minute? Well, yeah, I hope so because uh, he ran about a six two, uh, twenty down the sideline. Here comes Ant right here, and and you can see EJ and Mac getting up on the second level, and then there goes Ant. I mean, he he runs out of the picture. Um, faster than the camera, and that's, I mean, huge play right there because now we go up, and then this was even bigger to me, all right, because you got to have these two points right here. And, again, think about it. You know, the block field goal, the two-point conversion, if you don't get both of those things, they have the lead late in the game right? when we go to score. And, and how they handle that is, is uh, or how you call that is a little bit different. So, and Cam showed a lot of toughness just sticking it in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. just had to run. You know, I told him. I said, "Look, it's two point play. Force it in there if you have to, because if they, if they, if it becomes a turnover, the play's over." But he just kept running the pylon and did a great job getting it. And and the and the blocking up front to get him outside was huge right there. You know, on the on the edge. Then they come right back down the field, and you know. They, again, like I said, quarterback did a really good job. He's throwing from all different arm angles, uh, running, throwing across his body, just th things you, you don't normally teach a quarterback to do, and he's just finding spots with it. Uh, and they're able right here, they punch it in and make it, you know, make it 29-29. We about got this one too, and I know Junior roughs him. But, I mean, the effort, his angle's just a little too deep. He needs to come across a little more. But, we, you know, I, I don't fault him at all for his effort right there. Then here we come right back. Start the series with a little fast screen. Try to get a little drive starter. Then we go back to the outside zone. Get it. We get the first down right there. 
<clears throat> then the slow screen man right here, they made a great play because if he gets out into Leland, Leland is gone. And that's, that's you know, it's a game of inches, you know, those little details. <laughs> then right here, you know, on third down, we got an incomplete pass. Have to punt it away again. But again, Andrew, great punt, great coverage down the field. You know, when he was, he was punting that thing in pregame, he was going above the lights, couldn't see it. Yeah. Uh, and I, I got a feeling that's why they didn't try to return it, but that's a good job by the return team down there. And then here we go. This is this is the drive. You know, they did a good job. They drove it from the seven all the way down to the one, you know, uh, 92 yards. But they needed that 93rd one that uh, defense stopped. And, and that's what you got to do, you know, in a game like this. Sometimes you don't make all the plays, but you got to make the plays that, that count. And that's what we were able to do on that side of the ball. This play right here, I, I don't know what else to tell Tyreek because he's in phase. He's got his arm in the basket, and the guy still makes the catch. I mean, the quarterback put it in a great spot, and sometimes you just got to tip your cap. You know, we got to do a better job this week of tackling, all right? But, you know, we're getting guys finally on the ground. Then right here, the first play, you know, Devin Lewis right there gets him on the ground. Second play, Kiff comes through, gets him on the ground again. Then the third play, here comes Kiff, and I believe it was with the hand that he's got the messed up thumb or whatever, and then Joe, Johnny on the spot right there. Mm -hmm. I told Joe, I said, hey, why couldn't you recover it, you know, in the end zone where, you know, the ball's <laughs> on the 20? Just recover it. Yeah, I mean, he's just, you know. But that's a great job right there. I mean, we get – and we got a ton of hats around the ball. You can see Tyreek, he's right there by it too. You know, he's trying to get it too. And then right here, Ant, you know, they touched him – in the end zone, and then about four guys have him right there, then there he goes. There he goes. I mean, that's, you know, huge to punch it out. We did a good job up front getting it punched out to the five, and then that's just effort to we, get it all the way down. We say when they try to tackle him, he drug him about 10 yards. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing, and you see Levante's big first down run right there. Here's the thing about it, too. You know, had he scored, still a lot of time on the clock. Him not scoring, we're able to milk some clock all the way down. Look right here, E.J. Bean. Gets on one right here, and you can see him right there with the red shoes, and he's just going to finish right there across the guy. And then some direct snaps right here to Vontae, all right, to Ant. Come on, and that's Raquez putting, uh, serving up a little pancake right there. And then here goes Ant on the third down, all right. Ant, two things right here. One, he stayed in bounds, made the clock run. Two, got it inside the one. And then right here, Leland effort play. I mean, they hit him short of the goal line. And then he goes and just finishes in there, drives it in there. I mean, it's huge, 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 huge play. And then this was big, too. We got to have the extra point to make it seven, and we made it. And then right here we go down. Junior's flying down there. He gets knocked down. He's the first one up. And then Caden Walker with a great tackle right there. He's the contained guy. Keeps his outside arm free. Then when the guy commits, he folds in there and makes the play. <clears throat> and then right here, you know, we just – one, we pressured the quarterback, but two, we got guys with their hands all around the football. You know, they tried a little hook and lateral right here. All right. Devin, right there, he misses, he misses the ball initially. Then as he's making the tackle, he causes the pitch to be tossed funny. And then uh, Don recovers it, and then we get to run the best play in football, which is victory. And uh, we get to play another one-game season this week. We do. It's exciting. Great, great night. If somebody called it a – they borrowed the ESPN term, instant classic. Yeah, instant classic. Instant <laughs> so that's classic. what it was. And, and credit to both football teams. No quit Friday night. Oh, man. It's two really good teams, you know, when you look at it. Obviously, pretty evenly matched teams. Um, and, you know, we were able to make the plays that we had to make to go win the game. My hat's off to them. Uh, I, thought, I think Coach Border does a great job uh, just with how they do things over there, just some of the other stuff, uh, the hospitality they provided for us. So uh, hats off to them. Best of luck to them next year. Uh, but now that game's over, it's on to this week. That's right. We, we go 1 0 last week, coach. Now I've got a chance yep. to do the same thing this week. Yep, brand new season. You know, we got four one game seasons left, and it starts with this one this week. All right, we, we, we travel to Savannah to take on Calvary Day. As we said, they're located in Savannah. They're the Cavaliers. Yep. Cavalier, Cavaliers, their logo is a diamond C with a cross inserted into yep. the middle. It's a Christian school. School colors pur purple and gold. Uh, they were 11-0 this year. They were first place in Region 3A. They've been to the playoff 10 straight years, and this is the seventh time they've been to the second round. And for us, our eighth straight trip, trip to the playoffs, and we've advanced to the second round seven of those eight years and to the third round five times. So 
Again, Coach, two teams that are used to being in the playoffs. Yeah, and, that, and that's what you're going to get at this time of year. Once you get second, third, fourth, three, you, you're generally going to get teams that this this is what they do. Um, and, you know, it's the the biggest thing for us this week. You know, people talk about, hey, let's win the game. And I know I talk about 1-0, being 1-0 and everything, but how do you get there? And that's the thing we've talked about with the kids this week is how – do we get to winning the game? Well, we've talked about winning every detail this week. It's about winning the details from being on time to what you eat at lunch to throwing your trash away to how you keep the locker room clean to when you get to practice, win your drill. If it's a, if it's if you're competing against a person, win that drill. If you're competing against air, do the drill perfectly. That's how you win it. Uh, when you get into your plays, win your matchup of your play because if 11 guys win their matchup, Thomasville wins the play. And then once we get to Friday, you know, it's going to be win the travel, win the dress, win the pregame, you know, all those things that lead up to the game. And once you get in the game again, it's like practice, win your matchup. And then if you win your matchup and can win individual plays, that allows you to win drives, which allow you to win quarters, which allow you to win halves and ultimately win the game. So we're not just going to talk about, hey, let's be 1-0 at the end of Friday. We're going to talk about how can we win every detail this week so that when we get to Friday, that's what's on our mind, and that's how we go about being 1-0 in the game. Coach, get to the second round of playoffs. There's no, there's no weak sisters here. Everybody belongs here. No, everybody. Uh, you're exactly right. Everybody belongs. And this is a good football team we're playing. You know, they got a lot of kids that, that uh, are really good football players. They're very good fundamentally. They're very well coached. Um, and I like to think that, that that's the, the same can be said of our team as well because, like you said, you know, we're in the second round as well, and, you know, we got here somehow. Mm-hmm. And that's because we're a good football team that does a very good job of taking practice to the game. And like I said, we're in a new season now, and we got to go one and zero this season to have an opportunity to uh, come back and play next week. Yeah, we saw it this past Friday night, Coach. We talked about the playoffs. Talk about any game, but particularly in the playoffs where your your players have to make plays. We saw Cole yeah. make plays. We saw Ant make plays. We saw Cam make plays. We saw Kiff and Joe make plays. Mm-hmm. And we could go on and on with that yeah. with that list, yeah. and that's what has to happen. Yeah, your players got to make plays. The guys that have got you here, they got to make those plays, and and those those guys that are still developing got to continue to come along. Because here's the thing, too, you know, by winning that game the other night, we got another week of practice. Mm-hmm. So all of our guys that that you know they're still developmental players, our guys from JV, they get another week of practice. They get another week to develop their skills and talents that uh, other teams don't. If they're not playing this week, they don't get to practice this week, and those guys don't get to practice. So we're we're very thankful for that. You know, that's our seniors. They've they've played a ton of playoff games, so they that's where early in their career they got some of that experience, sophomores and, and juniors as well. All right, Coach, you mentioned the travel a while ago. We handled that, I thought, really well last mm-hmm. Friday. Talk about that this week. Yeah, you know, same thing. You know, we're gonna we're gonna leave school about eight thirty on Friday. Uh, we're gonna travel to Waycross and stop there. Uh, for a few minutes, and then we're going to go to Richmond Hill High School. They've opened up their facilities for us. We're going to be there from about 1 to 4 uh, just to kind of go through a normal home game routine. And then at about 4 o'clock, we're going to uh, bus over to Calvary. It's not a long trip from there. And now now it's just game day. You know, If there's one thing we know is how to ride a bus mm-hmm. to go play a game. We've done it for every game this year. So uh, that's, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do with our travel, and we've you know, we did a good job. We had some adversity last week in our travel and, and you know, couldn't tell it out there nope. on the field. Nope. Um, but, you know, the kids handled it really well. And, and that's what you got to do because you never know. You're, you know, I'm making that itinerary. I'm one of those guys, you know, I want every every event scheduled to the T, to the time. And I made an itinerary and I had it all mapped out. But some of the things don't go your way because there's stuff out of your control. So uh, Coach Rayburn sent me a text. He said, uh, you on time? And I just sit him back and say, I'm on God's time because that's all I can do. You know, that's all, that's all, that's all it is. He's the, one that, he's the one that's controlling what's going on. So, All right, so Dogs and the Cavaliers in, in, in Savannah on Friday night. It's a 7.30, 7.30 kickoff, and Coach and I will be back with the highlights of that game next week.